Yeah. Hello everybody, Terrence Pop here with another episode of Redonculus.com. And today, we're going to be going over the string along. If you want all of the info behind all this, Divorce Bank. It's one of our best videos. If you haven't seen it, you're behind the times. So get with it. <laughs> got two boards here. The board to my right is not necessarily how you do it in order. These are just ways that it can be done to avoid getting married. <laughs> you can still get all the cookies you want. You just don't have to seal the deal. <laughs> I have dyslexia. So if it's not spelled right back there, you know what to do. Oh, edit that out. Oh, wow. Well, I was eating. And with that being said, let us begin. <laughs> I said this will only hurt for a little while. I'll only put the head of it in. I promise that I'll never try to come in your mouth. Hold off. You don't say anything about it. You hold off until you get the talk of, you know. Where is this going? Whatever. And you know when the talk is coming because they'll say, <laughs> we need to talk. Which really means I'm going to bitch your ear off and give you an ultimatum until you make it clear that you don't care. <laughs> and then they'll apologize until next time. Ring bluff number one. Take him out to go look at some rings, get him some literature and say, hey, Hey, think about it. Think about what you want. First rule of ring bluff. You never talk about ring bluff. Then ring bluff number two. Put it on lightweight, make sure it's refundable because nobody really has two or three months salary laying around to purchase it. And second rule of ring bluff. You don't talk about ring bluff. <laughs> Get down on one knee, have that good look in your face and pull out an onion ring and eat it. <laughs> Wedding venue shopping. Usually they do all that. You just kind of shake your head. Oh, that's good. But always have an objection. So she looks for something else. That whole cycle will start over. Yeah, you can take her to halls or check out Niagara Falls. But you can also go to a titty bar. <laughs> and make sure two of them there know your name. You can pull out the, you know, I'm not in the right place in my life. Not making as much money as I would like. I don't feel really secure in this. Why buy the cow when you can get the titties? Edit that out. <laughs> Blame it on your parents. That works pretty good for a while. Don't want me to do this right now. I'm not ready. Don't let them find out they're dead because it kind of ruins the whole thing. Now this is a, uh, this is actually a beautiful one. Somebody explained this to me, but get them a promise ring. You can milk that for <laughs> at least two years. And you'd be shocked what you can do once you Put that little ring on the finger. Here, darling, here's a promise ring. Because I promise to watch my own ass. This is not really one of my favorite things. I don't advise this, but you can do it. Get a place together. That way you kind of look like you're showing some commitment. You got a promise ring, you get a place together. If you do decide to move in together, be aware of the dignity siphon effect. <laughs> and get a storage locker for all your stuff because she will <laughs> dispose of it. And finally, get a pet. And if you do get a pet together, do not refer to it as the baby. You just need to shut the hell up. I have kids and they are not the same. <laughs> you might be able to get away with calling it your baby when you spend $25,000 sending it through its first semester of dog college. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> and this is how this whole thing works. 18 to 24. They're in college. They're partying. They're out getting smoked and poked anyway. Winning! They're not looking to get married. You link up with them at 24. You get the talk. Right around three years. And usually the crazy will come out anywhere in the number one to 24 months. And that way you got one year with the real person to see what they're like. Winning! All right. What do you do next after you get the talk? You move in. Maybe you want to keep them around because they're a good piece of ass. Edit that out. Promise ring. Get the pet. Then you do ring bluff one, ring bluff number two, and then pull the career focus. <laughs> That's going to burn up basically 13 years. Add it on 24, puts her at 37. Trade them in. Go back to the beginning. 
and start all over. What's going to happen to you? <laughs> They're going to call you an asshole and it's that out. So what? Now, some of you are like, man, Pop, that's so mean. How can you do that? Now, listen, 60% plus of divorces are filed by women. They have no problem wrecking our lives. They're getting alimony for the rest of their life. They're getting the child support. Take half your stuff. Take your kids. Family courts locked down. Everything is in their favor. And nobody says how mean it was for them to do what they're doing. What kind of crap is that? They're ripping our hearts out and taking our kids away and basically ruining our lives. It's true though, it's true. Yeah. Payback time, baby. All right, you got me. Maybe I am an asshole, but what's the bigger asshole? Being in a committed relationship that isn't dignified with the label of marriage or using that marriage label to steal half of someone's life away, including the children getting it broken off three feet in your ass i'm just saying think about that one another episode of redonkless.com coming out every friday and this was the string along and while you're at it why don't you click on the subscribe button you raging sack of assholes i may be an asshole but at least I'm an asshole with all my shit. And that's a lot better than shit in the bed and wiping your ass with the sheets and living in a refrigerator box. Think about that. Could be you. It's a little payback action, baby. You can't hide the crazy. I've never seen a crazy chick be able to hide it for more than 24 months. Yeah. Except for my ex-wife. <laughs>